Hello everybody, my name's Ashley Bates. Here I have my homemade guitar, but it works, and I have at the centre of it a pickup, and the pickup's magnetic. So what does an electric guitar do? Well, we know what electric guitars do, they make a noise. So what's happening? How's, how's this working, and what's that got to do with electromagnetic induction? Well, watch carefully. When I move a string, the string is cutting through a magnetic field. There's a magnetic field in that coil. So the string vibrates through the magnetic field and that causes a minute current to happen in the coil going around the outside of the magnets. I'll show you on the board. Look carefully here. Here is my magnets. There is a coil of wire around them. This goes off to the amplifier. So when I move the string across the magnetic field then it creates a small electrical current inside this coil. That is electromagnetic induction. Say it class, electromagnetic induction. So to work it needs three things and one condition. The three things you'll find you need. Magnetism, electricity, metal. And the condition is that one of them has to move. If one of those three things is missing, you'll get it if the other two are there and there's some movement. So here on the guitar, when I move the, the string, and I move the string a lot, we can see straight away from this simple piece of equipment that the more the string vibrates, the more energy there is in the string, the more energy is created in the coil and the louder the sound that the amplifier makes. And then that then takes me to another idea. Here I have a simple metal detector. You know what these things do. When they come close to any sort of metal, I get some sort of noise. How does that happen? It doesn't even touch it. And yet it knows it's there. It's electromagnetic induction. Say it class, electromagnetic induction. What do I need for this? I need some electricity. I need some magnetism and I need some metal and I need a bit of movement. There's the metal sitting in the ground. It does not move. So what does move? Not the metal detector, because I can hold it in one place. The electricity that's inside that metal detector is being moved backwards and forwards and that creates a magnetic field all of its own and when it comes close to another piece of metal that generates its own magnetic field that generates another current back in this and that's what you hear in a nutshell that's how metal detectors work have you ever seen a metal detector play a guitar watch there's no nothing touching the two of them yes. sounds like the world's worst mosquitoes that's, that's got to be a new instrument for someone. How is it happening? The electricity moving inside that simple little uh, metal detector is exciting the coil here and generating a much bigger uh, frequency in the coil that's being picked up. Again, I've got electromagnetic induction. I'm Ashley Bates. This has been electromagnetic induction. Remember, three things. We have electricity, magnetism, metal. Put the three things together, move one of them. You'll always get the other one. Thank you very much.